calling all fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, come on in here for your April monthly collective tarot reading. I'm Tiffany. Welcome to Wasted Traditions Tarot. If you're new here, welcome. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. All right, we're going to do this reading for your month of April for all the fire signs. Again, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. An important thing to note for the month of April is the solar eclipse on the 7th or 8th of April, depending on where you are in the world. Okay, and during that time of the solar eclipse, it is a great time to release people, places, or things that are holding you back, no longer serve you, um, no longer add value to your life. So that is perfect thing to do during a solar eclipse all right we're going to get into it here for all of our fire signs so first we have brilliant beliefs luminous life force personal power for all the aries leo and sagittarius this is your monthly april reading brilliant beliefs luminous life force personal power Absolutely. Yes. Okay. So what I'm feeling with this is something for you, fire signs, is coming to completion. It's like you have an ideal vision about yourself um, and about the world you live in. And I feel like that is coming to fruition for you. Okay. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, something is being fulfilled because of your brilliant beliefs, because of your personal power. This is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So with this brilliant beliefs, we have the Knight of Wands, the Queen of Cups, and we also have the world. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yes, absolutely. The world that just gives me joy, right? Uh, I am a fire sign, so I'm excited to hear and see that. There are opportunities to explore new ideas, the things you believe about yourself. There's more to you than you realize. So the Knight of Wands is coming up to let you know, There, explore, take action, be fearless, right? Go on an adventure because you already have brilliant beliefs about yourself. You have a, a beautiful mindset from what I can see here so far. The Queen of Cups comes up for you as well, fire signs. This is absolutely, I mean, this feels so Aries, Leo, Sagittarius with this Queen of Cups energy. You rely heavily on your intuition is what I'm feeling. Um, you are emotionally intelligent and that has done well for you. Um, you are a nurturing person. You like to help people. Um, you like to take care of people and do kind things for people. Then we have the world. Hello. <sighs> Again, fulfillment is what I was feeling with this brilliant beliefs and then you have the world to come up absolute fulfillment completion again i said completion at the beginning for this and then you know the world comes up so you will miss nothing there is so much success showing here because you already have a beautiful mindset you have it feels like you've done the work to cut down and cut out on your limiting beliefs and and create new ideas about yourself and the life you're created to live and the life of your destiny and so it look i feel like this is working well for you all of you aries leo and sagittarius what do i want to go i want to go here all right three of swords the hierophant wow super powerful Super powerful. And the Nine of Pentacles. All right. This Three of Swords, what I'm feeling with this is that you've done the work. You, in your past, okay, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, in your past, even a recent past, you were feeling really um, low. 
you were feeling not so good about things that were going on in your life and you decided to change your mind. You decided to change your beliefs about yourself and you decided, I deserve better. I'm going to take action. I'm going to go for what I know. So I feel like this three of swords is in your past. This is not your current energies. Okay, and then the queen of cups is clarified by the hierophant and this is just that emotional stability that emotional intelligence i'm feeling that as well here with the hierophant there are things you've learned about yourself through your recent and elevated practice you have tapped into your higher self and that has brought you to a place of an emotional intelligence with this queen of cups you've you've learned to nurture your relationship with your spiritual team your angels as ancestors and spirit guides and so it has given you a great deal of understanding so that you know how to care for yourself and care for others. That's what I'm feeling with this Hierophant card. And then we have the Nine of Pentacles clarifying the world. Again, that is the fruits of your labor. They have come to fruition with the World card. All of the hard work you've done on self and how you want to create the life of your desire and, and create a, light, a life of your own destiny and not leaving things to fate the fruits of your labor show up here on the world card because you've done the work. This journey is not over. We never arrive. It's an ongoing journey. And and what I'm feeling is you should stay the course. You should stay the course you were doing so well, air, uh, fire signs. Okay. Next, we have Groundhog Spirit. Time to let go. Again, this time for the solar eclipse, it is an absolute perfect time to release people, places, or things that are holding you back from growing and evolving because you've been doing so well. And I'm feeling like, is there a few more things you need to let go? A few, a few more people you need to let go? A few more limiting beliefs that you need to let go is what I'm I'm feeling from here. Again, like I said, we never arrive. There's always work to do. So with the groundhog spirit, continue to do the work. Continue to um, stabilize your foundation because the foundation you've created so far is beautiful. It's strong. It's making your life more stable and secure. So with this groundhog spirit, we have justice. The lovers, you have so much major energy here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is a magical reading. This is beautiful. The Justice card comes up. Time to let go. Anything that doesn't serve you, it will be eliminated. You will cut those things out. Your life will come back into balance. You will understand and know the truth of what it's time to let go, continuing to tap into that Hierophant energy and continuing to work with your spiritual team. The truth will set you free. You will become lighter. You will become enlightened. You will become inspired. There's just, it's so much major energy. The Hierophant, the world, justice, the lovers, the magicians. Oh my gosh. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Oh my. The lovers is here for you, right? Continue to partner with your spiritual team. That's what I'm feeling. Continue to partner with your spiritual team. And if this, for some of you, this may resonate, this part here. If there is a intimate relationship that has not been going well, and it just seems like there's always chaos, this is a, this is a time to evaluate seriously and deeply. Does this relationship serve you anymore? I got a feeling it does not. You have to come into pure, unbridled truth about that relationship, okay? There is, you do gain clarity and I feel like this clarity, for some reason, I just, I just felt it. It's an actual intimate relationship. There's clarity coming forward and I feel like you're going to see that this is, this is not what that was. This ain't that. Okay. And then the magician shows up. Okay. Because you have the ability, you have the adaptability, you have the power to change anything, anything in your life. You can change it to serve you better. You can change it by walking away. You can change it by reevaluating and deciding to do something different. Do more of the good and none of the bad, right? That's the magician showing up for you in the time to let go. We, again, 
The Magician, seriously, clarifying justice. Knight of Swords, clarifying the lover. And Ten of Cups, clarifying this magician. When you decide that I control this situation, I can create the life that I want. You come into Ten of Cups energy. You come into your absolute joy. That feeling, the feeling is always driving you forward because it's so positive. You're coming into that when you decide to change things. When you decide, I am the master of my life. I can create the life of my desires. And you create that joy. You create that success. You create that abundance. You create the bliss that you desire and deserve. And then this magician clarifying the justice card because there is clarity with this justice energy. It just reiterates you have the ability and the power and the utmost responsibility to yourself to change your life into what you desire and what you deserve. And then the Knight of Swords, <laughs> the Knight of Swords is clarifying the lovers. And this, this is amazing. I just feel like with this Knight of Swords, you're going to have to be assertive with this individual and say, listen, you straighten up and fly right or we can't we can't do this anymore. I really feel this is pointing to an intimate situation and it, and it seems like it's time to let it go. And it is nothing wrong with offering someone a second chance. You actually have a clear, cohesive assertive conversation with them and explaining this is what I will accept this is what I will not accept you have to be assertive and stand up for yourself with this individual we're going to move on to wasp spirit some sometimes life stings that is the wasp spirit and that is absolutely true everything does not always go our way nothing in life is perfect who said life was going to be easy? They totally sold you snake oil if they told you that. Sometimes life stings. And that's okay because when life stings, it's time to end it. It's time to let go of what doesn't serve you well anymore. It's a time for transformation. It's a time to do something different. Ace of Swords. Six of Wands. And the sun, you just you just winning here. Fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, you're just winning. But the Ace of Swords. You with this stinging of life, it will bring you clarity. You're like, yeah, I, I don't want to do that anymore. I don't want to feel that anymore. You will get better clarity over what you want, what you will accept, and what you won't accept. There's a breakthrough coming here for some of you. There's a breakthrough. I feel like someone has been... That last bit of work in the, the brilliant beliefs, like you're holding on to something that you, you don't want it to change. You want it to just get better. Well, it will only get better when things change, right? So there's a breakthrough coming here, uh, clarity coming in, also pointing back to that justice card. Then the six of wands shows up with the clarity, with the breakthrough, you have a triumph, you have a victory, you have won the battle. When you get this breakthrough, when you receive this clarity, the six of wands is pointing to you won the battle fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And then the sun, my God. I mean, you have so much major arcana, so much major energy here for you. This is pointing back to the world. This is success. It's time for a cel celebration. Even though sometimes life stings, there are always positive things to take away from a situation because those are lessons learned. The lessons learned are the positive things, right? Six of Pentacles, the sun. Oh, you got the sun again. Amen. And then three of Pentacles. So the sun coming up on the six of wands, clarifying the six of wands. Again, the success 
right? The positivity. You've won the battle. You, you were able to withstand the chaos for this long. So it's telling you don't give up. The sun is here to show you don't give up. You will be victorious. You will be successful. You will have a life that you desire as you continue to do the work, even, even through the troubling or tough times where those stings come in. The ace of short, ace of swords is getting a new perspective and we're getting that clarified with the six of pentacles here. When you have a new perspective on who you partner with, there will be a better, even exchange of recipro reciprocity, the exchange of energy will be um, mutual. Giving and receiving will be mutual with the people that you deal with on a daily basis, no matter if it's in your home, in your community, on your job, or in the bodega, if you know, you know, right? <laughs> I had to throw that in there. So I'm seeing reciprocity for you. I'm seeing you receiving the desires of your heart, and then you are able to share that joy with other people. And then the sun being clarified by the three of pentacles. This is community. This is you are able to just get out there and share your joy with other people, helping to elevate their lives, helping to create that community, helping to just spread love and joy. It, it just and the sun is inspiring you to do more of the good things. And the Three of Pentacles shows up to say, absolutely, you are being recognized for the positive changes you have made in your life. You become more creative, um, just more expressive. Just, I, I love this for you. And it also points to the fact of whatever it is you're doing in your life that creates income for you, it's the income will also come with your recognition. The income will also come with that joy and that vitality and that success. Okay, fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, there's so much major energy here. Work with this energy during the solar eclipse on the 7th or 8th of April, depending on where you are in the world. Remember to release people, places, or things that are holding you back from growing and evolving. It's time to let go. Sometimes life stings, but those learned lessons are positive findings for you. You have already done a lot of work with your brilliant beliefs. That heartache over major issues is in the past. It's no longer here. Continue working with your spiritual team as you elevate yourself and come up to the next level living you desire and deserve. Keep going. Don't stop here. There's so much you can do.